everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really nice pumpkin tabletop centerpiece. And I made it just mostly using this cheap styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and these picks also from the Dollar Tree. You can learn the basics of dot painting in the beginning of my Sugar Skull tutorial, which I do have linked below in the description box and also above. Start my dot painting around this area. If you have a larger one, then you'll just start it a little lower, or a smaller one, you can start it up here. But we are going to have cover this mostly, so nobody's going to really see what's here. So I have this fairly centered, just as best as I can. And with a white pencil, I'm just drawing a guide circle. Somewhat like that. As I said, it's not really going to be that perfect, but nobody's going to see that much of the top of the pumpkin anyway. And I'm going to start with the white. Now the colors I'm using, in addition to white, I'm using a green. In the model I showed you, I used purple. A dark and a lighter shade of orange and a yellow. You can use any colors you want. And just take my dot and place it there. And then the other one, just the complete opposite. And like most of the things, I'm just really eyeballing this. The one thing you want to remember if you've done dot painting on other surfaces, this is foam. It's soft and it's a little bit more challenging. So between here and here, I will place about three to four other dots. And actually, I could fit another one in there, so I'll do it. See what I mean? It's it's not the easiest. And if you push too hard, you'll just push it in. So you just want to just tap it in there. With the same tool, I'm going to use the dark orange and just go in between the whites. And then I'm going to use a larger dotting tool. Yeah, I'll use this size. And I'm going to use the same color and take that between these oranges. Back to a, the white with a smaller dotting tool, and I'm just going to place a dot in between. I'm using the largest dotting tool with yellow, and I'm placing the dot in front of every other small white dot. So here I have an uneven number of dots. Not a big deal, I'm just going to place the yellow one right in the center to line it up. I am going to be using a technique called walking the dots. Normally, if this were dry, and you could let this dry before doing this, this next step, you could turn this over upside down and then do it that way. I'm just going to do it this way, front side up.
using the same dotting tool. This time I'm going to do it again with the lighter orange. I'm going to do it again with the darker orange. And you'll see that in between the two big circles, we're getting less and less room. So if you don't have enough room, it's not a big deal. Just take it as far down as you can go through here. And the last row I am doing in white. In between here, I'm going to use this same small dotting tool and I will use a yellow dot. I'm going back to this blue and then we're going to use white again. And just place it in front of that yellow dot. I'm going back to this larger dotting tool and using the dark orange, placing it right underneath the white. Now I'm going to use the green again and we're going to walk the dots just like we did before. I finished that sequence up with doing the white, the light orange, and then the dark orange. So now I want to cover up in here. First of all, I'd like to do something about the space in here. So with that, let's see, I will use a small tip right here. And I'm going to use this one and I'll just do it with green that in between. I'm going to take the next blue dotting tool and yell with some yellow. I will put that right here. Just like that. I'm going to go around and um, do that as well. I turned the pumpkin upside down, so I will use the light orange, and we're going to just take it out. So I'll do this one straight up, just walk in those dots, I'm going to go around. Straight down. It doesn't matter how many dots you get in here. Then I'm going to take green with the same dotting tool and I'm going to put angle it out a little bit like that. Do one on each side. I'm going to do the same thing using the white and being very careful not to touch the wet paint. I also added some orange, dark orange dots to fill that space in. Now, we're going to go over and do an overtop or a top dot on some of these. Make sure your dots are completely dry. And for this one, I will use some of the dark orange. I will be using a smaller dotting tool, but one bigger than this, because I may put a third dot. So I'll just dip this in with the orange and then carefully try and center that. And 
going to get around. Now I'm going to go over top of these orange ones using some green. And then this, I will use some yellow. And just go over the whites with the yellow. Then I'm going to take some white and top dot these. I did do a third top coat in black here, here, and here. And when it totally dries, I mean dries that when you touch it, there's no paint coming off. That's when I like to do a glaze to it. This is purely optional. I just think it looks so much nicer when it's shiny. It doesn't look like that cheap styrofoam. So I'm going to go ahead and glaze this. And then I'm going to let this dry as well for a few hours. While I'm waiting for the pumpkin to dry, I cut a bunch of strands of curling ribbon. These are cut maybe between one to two feet in length. It doesn't really, you can vary the size up and if they get too long, I'll just trim them anyway. I would have liked to have used orange rather than gold, but I just couldn't find any orange in the store. So with this one, just going to take this with the scissors and just pull it across. And then there you have a bit of a curl. And then I could go back and do it again, get it a little more curlier. After curling all of the curling ribbon, I bunched them up into about 10, roughly 10 strands, give or take one. And then about an inch down, I scotch taped each bunch together. So I have four bunches. You could do more or less if you want, depending on how full you make yours. So what I'm doing with this is I'm going to hold this, the, the pick up. I'm not going to have the tape, the curling ribbon like that. I want it like this so it adds some more fullness to it. So I'm going to take the taped area and hold it to the top of the pick on one side. Then I'm going to take the other one and hold it to the top of the pick on the other side and just do it with the other two. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Bring it to this side and then bring this to this side. So that way it's covered all around. And then I'm going to tape that as well. You could glue it with a glue gun. I just find it's quicker and less messy and easier to do with scotch tape. And I'm going to put another piece of tape to reinforce that. And there we have the pick. You could just play around with it, mix them in there. I'm going to add the pick to the pumpkin. And then I poked a bit, little bit of a hole right in, through the pumpkin. And I'm only going to add about an inch deep. So with my glue gun, I will glue, saturate it, and then just pop it in there and hold it till it dries. It dries pretty quickly. But I'm going to hold the curling ribbon so it doesn't stick to it. Spread it apart. Kind of fluff it up a little bit. Any pieces that I think are kind of long like this one, I'll just trim them off. Here is your pumpkin centerpiece. If you like this video, thumb it up. 
If you want to see many more videos of baking, crafting, travel, and everything else, subscribe to this YouTube channel.